Hey guys! Really? <laughs> We're recording. Okay. Hey guys, I am here to do my April favorites. Better late than never. This is April, right? April favorites? Yeah. Better late than never. So, I miss you guys. Here I am to do my April favorites. Okay, let me just get started. <laughs> Woo! And I have April favorites, and then I also have April... <laughs> if I could only spell that out. Because <laughs> that's how I feel about these other things. So, let me just get started with my favorites. Uh, if you guys watched, I think it was like the last tutorial I did, or the last two tutorials I did. I don't know. I used this e.l.f. Golden Bronzer. And I got this, gosh, I think a couple years ago. <laughs> but I love it. And it's kind of like I went digging things out, and I found it. And I totally forgot I had it. You will see I've hit pan right here already, because this is the color... I'm using quite often and I love it. So I, yeah, have hit pan on it, but these colors are just so pretty. And I, I don't know why it's called a bronzer per se, because I don't think it really deposits a whole lot of color in terms of bronzing, but for me for highlighting and actually eyeshadows is what I use it for. And mainly this color here. Favorite, fave, big time fave. Another favorite is this, who is this? This is CoverGirl, and it's in the color Rapture, 280 Rapture. And it smells like wax. <laughs> There's the color. <laughs> I bought this, and then I didn't think I was going to like it, so I gave it to my sister. And then I went over to my sister's, and <laughs> I was going through her makeup, and I'm like, hey. She's like, yeah, you gave that to me. I'm like, yeah, I'm taking it back. <laughs> So I like that for kind of like spring, summer, kind of gives you a little color. Anyhow, another, I think I posted this somewhere, but it is Love and Beauty um, Gold Eyeshadows is just what it's called. It's basically Forever 21 makeup. And these are the three colors and they're absolutely beautiful and they're so highly pigmented. Look at that, holy cow. They're so highly pigmented and who would have thought who would have thunk it? Forever 21 makeup. I know. When I posted this, I had a lot of people say, really? Like, I've seen Forever 21's makeup, but I was never brave enough to check it out or try it. I love Forever 21's makeup, or love and beauty, whatever. Um, yeah, I think it gives you a lot of... Uh, I'm sure it's hit or miss. I mean, I haven't tried everything, but I have a couple palettes, and I really like it. I mean, I use this for eyeshadow. I use it for highlighting. I mean, look at that. Whoa. So that has been a favorite. Another favorite, and I think I've shown this in like every last couple favorites videos, but I'm going to give it a what up again, is the Jordana Extreme Lash Mascara. I love this stuff. <laughs> it was quite controversial when I posted it, a picture of it. I mean, <laughs> I had this one girl who had such an issue with how spidery it was. And I'm like, yeah, sometimes I mean, some people like spidery mascara or that kind of look on their lashes. Some people don't. That's okay. Don't let it ruin your day. Um, but she had quite an issue that they were spidery. Anyhow, I love this mascara. And see, I'm flinging things again. I'm not showing you guys. <laughs> I'm flinging products. That's what the wand looks like. And that's what the tube looks like. Have I really been doing a good job of showing you guys products? Here's the cover girl. It's Rapture. That's the color. Let me do the for you know, Love and Beauty again. Those are the colors. I think I featured this also in a recent favorites, and I'm going to what up it again is the chi silk infusion i got this little tiny bottle from ulta and i'm still barely through it i just need the tiniest amount just a dime size this stuff rocks my world it makes my hair so soft and look 
Rocky. I love it. Yeah, go get you some. Who says that? Go get you some. 11th gorgeous. I'm going to bite. Go get you some. <laughs> okay, next, a favorite. And this is, I think I'm going to do like an empties video. I don't, I'm not one of those overly heavy duty, hardcore buyers of products that I have like millions of makeup sitting around that I don't use. But I'm starting to see some empties and get kind of excited. So, because I usually, I kind of use everything I have. Um, or at least try to use it up before I get new. Anyhow, I'm finding like, I'm finding some empties. I'm getting real excited. So I think I may do like an empties video. But a favorite has been this Bodycology Vanilla Spray. It smells like vanilla. It is amazing. It is just so creamy, creamy, vanilla-y. Yeah. Bodycology, it's almost gone. I have been using this like a beast. I love this stuff. And I think you, where did I get this? Walmart? I'm pretty sure that's where they sell it. I don't know if it's just Walmart, but that's where I got mine. Another favorite for the month of, <laughs> I keep forgetting, am I doing March favorites? Am I doing April favorites? <laughs> Another favorite for the month of April has been my BH Cosmetics Party Girl Palette. I have been using the heck out of this. I have it on my eyes today. I'm absolutely in love with these colors. You can see on every pot, they've pretty much been used. This has been a go-to, like these three here, this one here, and this one here. I love these ready colors and these mints and greens up here. I absolutely love this palette. The colors are so highly pigmented. This is so inexpensive. Uh, I did a tutorial with some of these colors. I will link it down below. I was so honored to be a part of the Holler Deals um, Beauty Guru, Guest Guru. And so I do have a Holler Deals Boutique. I will list it down below if you want to check out BH Cosmetics Party Gold Palette. It's awesome. Another favorite for the month of, I should say another favorite, because I'm gonna start mentioning like, favorite of June, favorite of whatever. Just another fave. Had, I got these in the, um, what the heck? The Influencer box that I did a video on, I'll post it down below. Uh, are the Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel Oil Controlling Towelettes. You just get this big, huge sheet. It's a five by seven sheet. And after I'm done, Either before I go to bed at night, I'll kind of use this to like take off my makeup, which I don't even really know that that's what it's for. Um, it just says botanical extracts of witch hazel and aloe rejuvenate your skin by gently lifting dirt, oil, impurities from your pores while nourishing sensitive skin. The result is clean, refreshed, and blemish-free complexion anytime, anywhere. Anyhow, sometimes after I'm done washing my face, I'll kind of use this almost like, cause you know the witch hazel toners, uh, why I love this. I love this stuff. And I don't know if this is how it comes in the stores because this is how I got it in the influencer box. But it's just these little towelettes. And I absolutely love them. I wouldn't tell you guys if I didn't. Believe me. Because when it comes to skin and your skin freaking out, I wouldn't steer you wrong. For me, those have worked and I love them. Another favorite, and this isn't any kind of beauty, but I just had to mention it because I felt so honored, so extremely honored that I was contacted by Marlena Makeup Geek TV. Um, and she sent me an invite to her open house. And I was so honored that be a part of that celebration with her in her life and her open house for her new office space and her showroom. And I couldn't make it. It was up in Sacramento and I wasn't able to make it. But I just was so honored that she even invited me and sent me an invite. So a favorite for this month is the invite that she sent me because, and a sweet little note, I just felt so honored that she invited me to her open house. So thank you, Marlena, and I love you. I met her at IMATS in LA, and she is such a sweet, kind, hearted, humble, gorgeous, tiny, I mean tiny, awesome human being. I love her, so thank you. Another favorite for the month of whatever we're doing. <laughs> 
have been these camo pants jeans evs that i got at foreign exchange and i have been wearing i mean you guys know i'm like a camo freak i love my camo so they're just these camo pants they have a double button across the front i got them at foreign exchange size 25 uh yeah zipper up the front and they have zippers on the legs as well they're just a skinny jean and that's what the backs look like these are a favorite because i have been wearing them like a wild beast why do i cons i i refer to myself as a beast a wild beast a whore seriously something's wrong with me i gotta hurry because i got some poos poos who says poos Melissa, what's up, Pooh? Boo, whatever. Anyhow, so I love these. The only bad thing about these is that they're too short. I'm not super tall in 5'7, but I don't, they're they're really short. And if you don't mind rocking them like a capri, that's kind of what they're gonna be. Okay, moving on to my never again. It's what I have on my nails right now. It's by Revlon and it's in the color 85 Minted. This is the nail polish. I'd had this for a while. I never used it. I was going to go purchase some mint nail polish. And I, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna turn this on silent because I am waiting for a phone call, an important phone call. So I don't want to uh, put that on mute. Everybody's like, well, you'll feel the vibration. Feel the vibration. Who is that? Feel the vibration. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Okay. Anyhow, I was going to go buy a mint nail polish, and I was like, no, I have a mint at home. Bought this, never again. Do you know what's on my nails right now? This is four coats. Four coats to get this kind of opaque look. I mean, yeah, they're chipping now, so, like, ignore that. Four coats of this beast. It didn't dry. I mean, obviously, if you're putting four coats of nail polish on your nails, they're not going to dry very quickly, but I didn't like it, so no. Next, I had posted a while back about deodorants and the chemicals in it and the aluminum and all that and how I'm really going to try and use like an organic or all-natural deodorant. Girls, I have yet to find it. I have been trying. I purchased Tom's. 24-hour odor protection, long-lasting, aluminum-free deodorant in the scent Wild Lavender. More like Wild Beast. <laughs> Whoa, humming on high using this stuff. No odor protection whatsoever. And I'm not like a highly overtly stinky person. Like I don't have like the BO problem really. I'm not one of those who's like, whoa, got to really pile up the DO deodorant. But this stuff gave me no protection. This was not good. It gave me no protection. Humming on high, not good. I was like, really, is that me? It was me. So that's it, guys. That is my favorites and my never agains. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for all your love and support and prayers through this time that I've been going through with my health and testing and all that. I have another doctor's appointment coming up. So once I'm done with that, then I will definitely let you guys know the results of where things are at. But please do keep me in your prayers, positive thoughts, fingers and toes crossed. And I love you guys. And please be kind to each other. You never know what somebody else is going through or what they're battling. I hope you guys are having, again, a great day. And I will see you in another video soon. Bye.